Hey guys, and well, here's what this video's about. The Batmobile. It is, of course, the Racer Tachyon. Now, if you've no idea what has been transpiring the last couple of weeks, uh, let me fill you in. See, the mighty powers that be at PGG or whoever decided that we needed an electric gearbox or sorry a four-speed gearbox for the electric cars now as you can see this is s2983 and i'm gonna put all the trimmings on this racing slicks full width and tires full width on the axles yada yada and yeah, nothing to do there and weight reduction. So now it's X class, right? Right. Now the issue becomes that when they did this, gave us this fancy new gearbox, look what happens to the PI now. Boom. Your car is now A class. What, what, what? And the reason for this is obviously not the part weight ratio as you can see uh it's simply the fact that due to the the standard setting of this gearbox and i'll show that in a moment this now has a top speed of 82 kilometers an, uh, an hour yeah that's around 50 miles per hour or something um so now we built our car it is now a class a768 to be exact uh, and well come on uh, the reason for that is the standard setting of the gearbox looks like this which is obviously uh, completely wrong should be like way way over there uh, something like oh, let's get it right here at least something like this which, which would now put your a768 super duper grip racer here uh in the 390 kilometers an hour sp uh, speed bracket which is kind of fast for an a-class car this was of course uh, a fail bad new uh it wasn't supposed to be like this and this is another example of the uh, powers that be not beta testing anything and we're talking limited number of cars here uh i mean there are what five electric cars something like this there's a racer there's the chinese one neo we just got and there's the Rimac. Uh, the Jagger I pace the uh, that Porsche thingy, and then we just got the new Mach E, which oddly enough doesn't have this gearbox at all. <laughs> anyway, a few morons, <clears throat> you know who you are, decided, well, holy shit, I can own rivals with this, and so they did, in drones, and a few other morons decided. Holy shit, I can own Horizon Open with this. Uh, custom racing. I'll just do A-class races in my racer and I'll destroy everything. And so they did. Which led the PGG to um, pull on the handbrake a little bit. On the 1st of April, shortly after this was sent out, they released the following statement on Twitter. We're aware of an issue with uh, with the A-Class tuning on the Racer, Tachyon Speed, and Forza Horizon Far. The car is now removed from Rivals. We have temporarily disabled A-Class Custom Racing, which we will reopen early next week once we've restricted the car from online racing. Mm -hmm. Now, if we shoot back in time a little bit, a lot actually, uh, way back to Forza 4. 
Uh, since the release of Forza 4, people were whining to no end about the bone shaker. The bone shaker is beating me and man grazing. And instead of tuning their own bone shaker, they would just point and whine. Um, to the fact where, or to the point where PGD went right. And around that time, uh, they also introduced the Top Gear story, which gave you the tractor, which was pretty much owned C and B class rivals. So what did they do, do you think? They had, in my opinion, they had two options, like the Bone Shaker, for instance. Add 20 PI to its base value. No more Bone Shakers in A class. That's the end of that. In S1 class, it becomes a handful to drive, to say the least. Still fast, still way fast. But, wow, you really got to know what you're doing to get it around. Anyway, add 20 PI to the base value of it, that would be the end of that. Or 25, for that matter. Same with the tractor. Add 25. End of story and let everything move on as it uh, should be. But no, what they did back then was they removed the two vehicles from online rank racing. We're no longer allowed to use them there. Then everybody who'd set a rival's times with these two cars had their rival's time stricken. Fair enough, they could go set a new one. No, for the next year and a half or so, People were who had set a rival's time in an A800 bone shaker were suddenly unable to set a new rival's time on any given track. Um, this was due to a bug. Surprise! Uh, but they fixed that. It only took them like a year or so. And now we got this. Now the easy solution is change the base... Uh, 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 value of the gearbox so your car doesn't drop to A class, which is ridiculous. This car should not be in A class. It shouldn't be anywhere near A class. Uh, I'll give you an example. If you take the um, <laughs> the Rimac and you do this, the exact same thing to that one. So let me completely strip it which is such a sad because I had a pretty tune on it oh well now it's completely box standard right now right so let's add all the thingamajigs and let's see And I do believe you can also gain a little bit by lighter rims. Where are my babies? There they are. Uh, and nope, nope. Let's not, let's wait with the gearbox. Nothing there. So now we're in X class, right? That's X class. X999. Now, the, when I add the four-speed gearbox, it will drop a little, if I remember correct. But it's not... No, it won't, actually. It will actually just make it even more X-Class. And that's the way it should work on these super-duper extreme cars when you add that four-speed uh, thingamajig. Do the same to the fucking racer how hard can it be then everybody who said arrivals times with the racer delete them but delete them properly so they're allowed to set a new time that would be the end of that now this was on the first of april that was a friday and and notice what i i read which we will reopen early next week right so this was last, well, actually, 
not last week, the week before that, on Friday, they put this out. <clears throat> Nothing happens for an entire week. Seven days, not a peep from them. Nada, nothing. Mm -mm. Eh -eh. Can't be bothered. Uh, then they send out the following release on the 8th of, month, uh, of April. We continue to work on this, and once we have a fix, A-Class Racing and Horizon Custom Racing will be available. Now, here, here's the kicker, and <laughs> this is really, really good. Uh, you see, you could use the Razor and the iPace, the vacuum cleaner, in online racing if you wanted to. Uh, you see, fuck off. What they what they barred you from doing was racing in custom racing. You weren't allowed to do that. They simply removed a class. Now, open racing also has uh, a class racing in it. That you could still bring the racer to that. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And of course, uh, uh, the racer is banned from rivals, not allowed to pick the car. And, well, I called it shortly after the 1st of April, actually, that they're going to ban the cars. And today, we got a message. And let's see if it... There it is. A-Class Custom Racing, Race Attack and Speed and Jack Your Eye Pace Update. We've reopened A-Class Custom Racing for players to join through Verizon Open. Thanks to everyone for the patience as we investigate. So they're still investigating the Race Attack and Speed, which for now will be restricted from online events. So they banned those two cars from online events Apparently, from all online events now, they're not mentioning uh, custom racing specifically. It's just online events. And you're not allowed to use them on for rivals anymore. So we've got the exact same fucking situation we had in Forza 4. They add something to the game that make one or two cars completely... Stupidly overpowered. In Forza 4, it was a like a to whole car, the tractor, and it turned out to be crazy overpowered. Uh, like a month after uh, they added it, they banned it again. Uh, and yeah, don't shoot me if that's wrong. It's as uh, that's how I remember it anyway. And and. We have the same thing here. They add a new drift gearbox, but only for the electric cars. That then they fuck up on two cars, and now you can't use those cars for anything. Instead of just fixing the underlying problem, they just ban. Much easier. Yeah, let's not fix anything. Let's just remove them. I mean, oh, th this is what PGD does every single time. They see a problem and they stick their head in the sand. Just mm, I mean oh anyway the gist of it is that theoretically anyway no I still don't want to join his convoy fuck off uh, we should now be able to oh there it is why do they have A, B, S1, S2, any? Why not B, A, S1, S1? Or is that too much to ask? <sighs> I can't even get the order right. <laughs> why, why, why not just remove that fucking gearbox if that's the issue and and if they can't just change the standard settings of the goddamn gearbox Jesus Christ it <sighs> and like I said we have five five electric cars something like that well 
Now, we also have that stupid mini, which is beyond ridiculous. Let's not get into that. But anyway, it is like you can count them in less than two hands. How long would it take someone to just run a teeny check and add that gearbox to every car? I swear to God, I can do it in less than half an hour. Why the fuck wasn't there anybody at PGG who just spent those 30 minutes? Really? That That's not possible. No, no. Oh, God in heaven. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how to... I, it, it's every time. Every single fucking time where they just shoot themselves in both feet and then pretend, oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. The bleeding will go away. Everything's fine. Mm. Idiots. Oh, God, it's it's a kindergarten in there. And, and, yeah, somebody ate all the red crayons and now everybody else is looking for them. Something like that. I don't know. Ah. Uh, yeah, I keep hoping that one day, one day I'm going to start this game and they would have actually made it, you know, good. Because the game definitely has potential if you just stop adding new crap all the time, especially crap that you don't even bother beta testing. Not even in the fucking slightest. <sighs> Morons. Anyway, I just had to get this off my chest because it's it's yeah, it's an ongoing story apparently and it's just beyond belief. I mean, 14 days. Well, technically 12 days. 12 days. It has taken them 12 days to reopen A-Class Racing and keep the cars banned. Right? Because on the 1st of April, they're already banned. So it's taken them 13 days to reopen A-Class. It's a fucking flick of a switch. I mean... <laughs> Mm, you, oh, I wish I was making this up. I really wish. <sighs> anyway, just thought I'd let you know. A class is reopened. Hallelujah, I guess, or something. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, video, like, subscribe, all that. You know it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and sorry, but I just. I just had to vent a little bit because this is just, mm -hmm. ah, it's so frustrating. It's really frustrating when, when you love a game uh, or, well, you love a franchise, basically, and then they just keep spitting in your face. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.